Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome once again to Hunya Your Highness TV. And today we shall be looking at um the second part in the body part series okay uh one may ask uh, when did you learn pass the body yeah, we did pass the body long time ago so you can check below and you find the link in the description box yeah so we are building up from it so we've learned the body part you've just learned that we're now going to form sentences in the girl language okay so without much time we waste, let's just begin. Now we've learned head, which is Yicho. So we are going to learn how to say you are maybe head strong or you are wicked. In Ghana we say Oyichonwa. Oyichonwa. Oyichonwa means you are wicked. You are wicked. Oyichonwa. Oyichonwa. Eichonwa. He or she is wicked. Eichonwa. He or she is wicked. Eichonwa. I am wicked. I am wicked. Now. We are wicked. Why you chain wala? Why you chain wala? Okay. Why you chain wala? Know that me has been absorbed as an N, so you can still write it as an N. Why you chain wala or why you chain me wala? Either way is correct. So you get it. Why you chain me wala? You are wicked. Or you can still say why you chain wala. Yeah. So. Just feel free, you know, pluralization and then singularization. Okay. So now this wrist, this wrist, how do you say wrist in Ga? Wrist is said as nineshishi. Nineshishi. So he nineshishi, my wrist. All nineshishi, your wrist. Any nineshishi, his wrist or her wrist. So. Maybe you want to tell someone, hold my hand, hold my hand, maybe hold my hand to cross the road. In the gang, we say, hold my wrist. Mohini nishishi. Mohini nishishi. Or mohimi. So, mohimi is hold my hand, more literally hold my inside. Mohimi or mohini nishishi means hold my hand. Now, now we have this simple expression like to feel hurt or to feel pain. That is why he. So maybe each on one he my head aches. Each on one he. But we also have a way of, we also have another, another way of expressing it. Each on bami. So you can say each on one he or each on bami. That's to say my head aches or okay yeah my head aches or my head is aching me. Each on bami. Each on bami. In the session one he, in the session one he, my wrist hurts or my hand hurts. You can better still say in the one he, my hand hurts. In the one he, my leg hurts, and it goes on and on and on. So why he? In the man one he, my eye hurts. Okay. Now to say you have stomach pain, you say emusun kumi. Imusun kumi. That's I have stomach ache. Imusun kumi. Imusun kumi. Now I'm running. Okay, that's in running stomach. You say imusu echo. Imusu echo. So imusun kumi. My stomach hurts or my stomach aches. But the imusu echo, I'm running or I have a running stomach. So you see how it works. Okay. Now maybe you want to tell someone like maybe stretch, stretch yourself, you know, stretch this way. So you say pa me, pa o me, pa o me. So stretch, pa o me, okay. So pa o na ni me, stretch your legs. Pa o na ni me, you are stretching, you stretch your legs. Pa o ni ni me, pa o ni ni me, stretch your arms, stretch your body. Pa o me, okay. So pa, then you just add the body part. Pa o me, pa o ni ni me, pa o na ni me. Okay, it goes on and on. Now, I'm angry. I'm angry. Oh, me, you are angry. Oh, me, he or she is angry. Okay. I'm angry. We are angry. You are angry. I'm a mere fool. They are angry. 
Okay. Yeah. Now we have this word, he. He and he means waste. He, waste. So, in he and why he, okay, I have waste pains. Or my waste, yeah, I have waste pains. In he and why he, literally, my waste is paining me. In he and why he, my waste is paining me. In he and why he, okay. Oh, he and why he. Oh, he and he, you have waist pains. Oh, he and he. Now, to tell someone massage me, you will say, Bole mommy. Bole mommy. Bole mommy. So, Bole mommy, that's massage me. Mag I will massage you. Mag I will massage you. Me, Bole I am massaging you. Me, Bole bo. Eh, Bole me. He or she is massaging me. So whether he is massaging me or she is massaging me, a hey, gbole me. Okay. So gbole mommy, massage me, gbole mommy. Yeah. Now, let's move a little bit into the jaw area. So we have this part, the mandible. Looks like that you chew your teeth. So when you chew your teeth, you know what? You realize that you know this part kind of inflate. Okay. The mandible. So in Ghana we call it jengpi, jengpi, jengpi. So jengpi is the mandible, jengpi. Then we have kada, kada. So kada is the jaw, kada, the jaw, kada, kada. Oh kada, your jaw. Then we have kitan, kitan, kitan is the inner jaw. Okay, the inner corner of the mouth where the molars are, those who study science, the molar, you know, the molar tooth. Okay, this part, the inside, yeah, that's kitang. So, jengpi, kada, jaw, then kitang, the inner jaw, kitang. So, maybe he's chewing the meat in the in with the inner jaw, the molars. A pelo, ye kitang, a pelo, a pelo. He's chewing meat or fish. Lo is can mean meat, lo can also mean fish. So, a pelo, a pelo, a kitang, a pelo, a kadang. Okay, a pelo, a kitang. He's chewing the meat in his kitang, in a jaw. Okay. Now, let's now let's go back to the eye. The eye is him way. So, now, interesting part. Oh, an interesting thing to notice with the eye, okay, it can go blind. So, to tell someone that, oh, maybe you've gone blind, you say, oh, he shila. If maybe if you say, he meshila, he he meshila, it means I'm blind. Oh, he meshila, you are blind. A he meshila, he or she is blind. So, maybe a blind person is shilafu, shilafu, a blind person, shilafu. Now we have someone who is deaf and damp. Whether you are deaf or whether you are damp, in Ghana we just have one word. Mumui. Mumui. So maybe you say mumui ni. Mumui ni trust that he is deaf and damp. Or he is simply deaf or he is damp. Mumui ni. Mumui ni. Then we have obubuafo. Obubuafo is a cripple. Or someone who is paralyzed. Obubuafo. Obubuafo. So obubuafo ni he is a cripple. Obubafuni, he's a cripple. Obubafoi jame, remember Ghana plurals. Obubafoi jame, so do not forget to look at uh, look up Ghana plurals one up to Ghana plurals seven or eight or so. Okay, Obubafuni, he or she's a cripple. Obubafuni. Now the the plural form so the plural form of Obubafoi is Obubafoi. Okay, Obubafoi. Obuba fuini, they are cripples. Obuba fuini, they are cripples. Obuba fuini, they are cripples. Mm. Okay. So maybe you want to tell someone he's he's deaf in one ear. So you say etwe kome nuni. Etwe me isi. Etwe kome nuni. He's deaf in one ear. Etwe kome nuni. Otwe kome nuni. You are deaf in one ear. Otwe kome nuni. Okay. Then lile lile is the tank. So maybe you know some people tend to have heavy tank, okay. Sometimes the tank tends to so uh, maybe hindering speech a bit. So in Ghana we say it's only leather or any leather. 
Okay, so a little that his tongue is big, that's a literal translation, or only let that your tongue is big, that's a literal translation. Yeah, okay. Now we have Nabu, so Nabu na is mouth, but Bu is whole. Okay, so na translate as lip, na is the lip, then Bu is the whole, so Nabu lip whole is the mouth. We also have another way for saying mouth. That is odang. Now you can say odang me or odang. Both are correct. It's just that the m the me has been absorbed or it has been simplified to mm, so odang or odang me. So nabu is the mouth. Na is the lip. Okay, nabu mouth na lip. Odang or odami also means mouth, but in science, odami will literally mean the buccal cavity that means the actual mouth in itself, the inside. So, odam, so maybe sha odam, brush your teeth, literally, it's more like scrub your mouth. Yes, in Ghana, we say scrub your mouth, not a literal translation, but then what we're trying to say is brush your teeth, shut down, bulomo odam. Bulomo odan. So bulomo odan is rinse your mouth. Bulomo odan. So oh, you are gargling. Rinse your mouth. Bulomo odan. Bulomo odan. Okay. Whether you are gargling or you are rinsing your mouth, both are the same. So if I'm gargling, me bulomo odan. I'm rinsing my mouth to me bulomo odan. Both means the same thing. Okay. So you see how simple it is. So bulomo odan. Rinse your mouth. Okay, so maybe someone has slimmed down and you want to express concern. You just say, Oh no, Egbo. Oh no, Egbo. You can change it. You can say, Oh no, Egbo or Oh no, Egbo. Both tones are correct. Oh, oh. So let's use an Oh no, Egbo. You slim down. You can say, Oh no, Egbo or Otalo. So Oh no, Egbo or Otalo. It means um, you slim down. But I want to say you are fat, okay, or you've become big, or you've become fat. You say Oshi. But you know, in mostly in Ghana, when you tell someone Oshi, it's not really negative. Most people, perhaps out of Africa, maybe in the US, when you tell them you are fat, they may see it's negative. But in Ghana, here, yeah, we don't see it as a negative stuff. We rather see it to be a sign of having peace of mind. That's how we see it. Okay, you know cultural differences here. So, if you are increasing in weight, we see it as you are having peace of mind. But you know, elsewhere they may see it as you are obese or something. So, Oshi, Oshi, that you become fat or you become big. Okay. Another way of saying Oshi is Ofi Agbo, Ofi Agbo, you become big or you become fat. Ofi Agbo. Okay. Now we have this word thing. Thing means middle. Thing middle. So what thing? In our midst. Okay. You can't say our middle. So more like our midst. In our midst. What thing? Nye thing in your midst. A thing in their midst. Okay. In their midst. Or let's say a thing namo. A thing in their midst namo. Who? So in the midst who literally. So that's who among them. Who among them? So you can say among uh, what, uh, what thing in, in, in as much as what thing means in a midst also mean among us. Okay, it also mean among us. Nothing among you. I may think among them or among them. We we'll look much deeper into this, but let me just simplify it a bit. So. Amete mekume. Mekume means some people. So amete mekume. Some people among them. Amete mekume. So amete among them some people. Mekume. Some people. So among them some people. So you see how we this thing. So amete. Either in their midst or among them. Okay. Amete me pi. Many people among them. P means plenty. So many people among them. Or lots of people among them. Amete me pi. I may think may be, but many among them came. Or many people among them came. I may think may be, but. Okay. Now, 
how do you express breastfeeding? So, me half for I'm breastfeeding. Me half for I'm breastfeeding. Or oh, half for you are breastfeeding. A half for she's breastfeeding. Her or be left for breastfeed your child. So, literally give your child breast. Her or be left for give your child breast. Literally. Okay. Yeah. How me fufo breastfeed me? How me fufo breastfeed me? Okay, literally give me breasts. Okay, so how me fufo breastfeed me? Yeah, so someone may ask, maybe I'm expecting this to come from the guys. They will be like, so if how me fufo is breastfeed me, the word of literally saying give me breasts. Yes, that was also how me fufo. But then we would understand him for more as breastfeed me. But in some situations, we will also take it as give me breast. So both goes, yeah, both goes. Okay, both goes. So let's continue. Now, how do you tell someone smell? Maybe smell my hands. Smell this. So you say foo, foo. So foo in it. Smell my hand. Foo in it. Smell my hand. Funny and smell the thing. Funny and smell the thing. Then we have respire or breathe. That is moo. So foo to smell, moo to breathe, moo to breathe. So me moo, I'm breathing. Oh moo, you are breathing. A hey, moo, he or she is bre um, breathing. Okay, so moo, ma moo, I will breathe. Ma fu, I will smell. Okay. Now face face is here okay here so let's take this word only a cash only a cash your face is lying down that's a literal term, but it means you are smart only a cash you are smart a here cash he is smart or she is smart a here cash okay in here cash i'm smart in here cash i'm smart now let's take in here without the she when you say in here it means i'm alive in here, I'm alive, but in here, I'm smart. Oh, here, you are alive, but the only here, you are smart. So, peace here gets so the she makes a difference, brings a difference in meaning. The she, okay. You can also say, Oh, here, ego, your face has died, it means you are ashamed. Oh, here, ego, a here, ego, he or she is ashamed. Well, here, ego. Or we're here a boy, we are ashamed. We're here a boy, we are ashamed. We're here a boy, we are ashamed. Okay. So, assuming you, uh, someone tells you, well done, well done, open your mouth. Okay, open your mouth, well done. <laughs> yes, belly more means open. You can say belly more old down. Open your mouth, or belly old down, open your mouth. So, belly more down, well down. Now, you can say fair. Fair that sneeze, fair sneeze. So fair or fair ogugo. Remember, ogugo is sneeze. So fair or fair ogugo. If you are lost, okay, can you do well to check the stream box below and look up the previous lesson, pass the body in gun. Now, after that, looking at it, then come back here and learn how we make this basic basic expressions with body parts in the gun language. So fair ogugo, um, sneeze. A train tra. A train tra. His heart is beating. A train tra. His heart is beating. Oh, train tra. Your heart is beating. Okay. Oh, train tra. So, train means heart. Train means heart. A train tra. My heart is beating. Okay. Go. Come back a train tra. Low. Check if the heart is beating. Come back a train tra. Low. Check if the heart is beating. Check if his heart is beating. Come back a train tra. Low. Come back a train tra. Low. Check if my heart is beating. Come back a train tra. Low. So come back means check if. Even though it will literally means look that or see that, but then it's also check if. Come back. Okay. Now we have wa. Wa, if you saw the previous thing, we learned about wa. So wa means finger. Okay, wa means finger. So maybe kuwa wa, 
Kuroba means break the finger like this way. How I'm breaking it this way. You get it. Okay. Kuroba. Break the finger. Then again, we have Wana. Wana. Wana is the nail. So you can say Kuroba. Cut your nail. Okay. F cut your finger nails. Or Flomo Wana. You can say Kuroba or Flomo Wana. Both are correct. Kuroba or Flomo Wana. Okay. Both mean the same thing. Following one, uh, oh, cut my nails for me. Following one, uh, oh, honey, following one, oh, honey, following a one, uh, oh, honey, cut his nails for him. Following a one, uh, oh, honey, so follow more, you cut, oh, huh, you give, you cut, you give. So follow more, a one, uh, oh, honey, cut his nails for him. Okay, now you want to say ring, okay, finger ring, that is waga. Waga, yes, rest as wow, but most people pronounce as wa waga, waga finger ring. So it will waga. I'm wearing a ring. It will waga, or simply it will it will ga. I'm wearing a ring. Oga or oh, oh, waga. You are wearing a ring. So now we have dremo. Dremo means brain. It can also mean think. Dremo. Okay, so dream more. He think about yourself. Dream more. He me dream. I'm thinking about myself. Oh, John. He you are thinking about yourself. A dream. He he or she's thinking about himself or herself. A dream. He thinking about himself or she's thinking about herself. A dream. He okay. Remember, we looked at tree. Okay, so tree means um the heart. So. If I call a tree, he took out the animal's hat. If I, he removed or he took out, but if I is actually he, he removed, but in this case, we'll see it as he took out. If I call a tree, he took out the animal's hat. If I call a tree, if I in tree, uh, if I in tree, maybe she took out my hat or he took out my hat or he removed my hat or she removed my hat as in actually removing the hat itself okay yeah <laughs> so let's go to this maybe to for someone to defecate okay now in Ghana we have two ways we have the polite one the polite one so i'll teach you the polite one for now i will not go the impolite for now the impolite one is for a different lesson. So ewa, ewa, that means he defecated. You can also say mawa, I will defecate. But in this case, it's so polite. When you say mawa, it's very, very, very polite. That whoever you say it to, it will be pleasant to the person. Okay, <laughs> mawa. Okay, obawa, you will defecate. Okay, yeah. Then we have a uh, mlebu. Mlebu. Mlebu is more like gizzard. Mlebu. Mlebu is gizzard. Okay. So the animal gizzard. Yeah, mlebu is gizzard. Then again, I say mlebu, we have fufla. Fufla. Okay. Fufla. Fufla. Fufla is the liver. Fufla is the liver. A fufla. His liver or her liver, full flour. Then supposing someone is injured, the injury or the wound, okay, the wound. In Ghana, it said as fala, fala wound, fala wound, okay. So we shall pause here for now, okay. Two lessons, our advice will be empirical to this lesson. That is, pass to the body one, the previous one, as well as asking basic questions in Ghana. So please, you find the link to these two lessons in the description below. Do what to check it out, and if you have any questions, do not forget to ask. As usual, like I say, if you have, if you feel you need to contact me, my contact is always below. You can just get to me, okay? Uh, maybe WhatsApp may be faster. Email is also fast. I'm quick to reply on emails. Likewise, quick to reply on whatsapp mostly facebook and instagram it may delay a bit because i'm not much active on those sites but email and whatsapp yeah i'm very 
I'm mostly active there. So you can email me and it's like an instant conversation. You may yeah, you, you may get an instant reply. Yeah. So do not shy away from emailing me. You are good to go. Also we have our page Ghana Language Advocacy. If you wish to connect to us through our telegram page, do what Ghana Language Advocacy continue in the picture below. Also my blog is historicalhuna.blossom.com is also there where I publish lots of articles. So you can look at historicalhuna.blossom.com. Okay, if you wish to know the lessons on this page and follow them in order, then just go to historicalhuna.blossom.com. That's my blog. The link is still in the description box below. Click on it. Take you to the blog. You see structure of lessons. You can even there's a search function there. Type structure of lessons or lessons on Huna Johannes TV it will come up and then you can just follow in order and by the time you realize you've catch that so yeah you see if you still feel you need me for private lessons why not I'm available because yeah most people are so busy that they prefer private lessons yeah I understand so without much I say thank you very very much purchase my book no gonna better to learn more about the histories of Ghana the tribes the languages in Ghana and many are other and also to help support you can get the soft copy from africa read you can get the hard copy by contacting me so without much i say nah then you are done and watch out for the next lesson bye go go